everybody. It is January the 2nd. The sun came out after our little blizzard and uh, we only ended up getting about six inches. They were calling for like up to a foot. Yeah, right. Come on. This, so uh, I will say one thing about the society today I noticed. Man, everything is like, oh my goodness, the world is falling. I mean, how many chicken littles can there be? You know what I mean? So, I'm off to a new spot. And uh, I just got a text from my buddy, sorry. I'm off to a new spot. It's not a new spot, though. I don't know if you're watching Brad and Rob, but uh, if you are, you'll remember this spot from when we were kids. We used to trap there uh, back in the high school days. Uh, it was really convenient because it was like basically on the way to school every morning. Uh, anyway, I was thinking, gosh, I really want to find some new spots that I, that I can get to close to the road, uh, you know, not too far away. And I thought, you know, I'm going to give this place a look. I looked on the satellite, I counted 26 rat houses in a, quite a small area. Uh, it's about 400 by maybe a thousand feet. It's a pretty, it's just a narrow strip uh, alongside a pond. A pond, on, a pond and a road, basically. Um, so that's, I don't know, 10 acres, something like that, 9, 10 acres. Uh, that's a lot of rats in one little spot, so we'll see. I haven't been there since I was uh, pretty young. I have fished that pond a couple times, and uh, I mean, that thing is so loaded with bluegills. And I was thinking last night, I wonder if I shared that video that I took of the bluegills spawning this summer. Uh, I'm going to look and see if I shared it. <laughs> there must have been 10,000 bluegills uh, right on this little spot, and it was, it was just cool. You know, it's fun to find bluegills up in the beds like that, but we must, I mean, you, you just catch bluegills till you're tired of catching them. They don't keep them at all that time of year, but I guess you could keep some of the smaller ones. But anyway, oh man, there's open water on this lake. Let me show you. I'm definitely not going to. I don't know, there's a creek that flows into it, so that's probably why, but... Um, uh, coincidentally, it's the same creek that flows out of the lake that I trap up by my house. So this lake, <coughs> excuse me, this pond that I'm going to, it's about a 25-minute drive, and uh, I know you guys are like, wah, wah, poor guy who has to drive 25 minutes to go trap. Well, to be honest, when you're used to driving six minutes to go to your trapping spot, you get a little spoiled, uh, so I guess it's time to, to burn a little bit of petrol and see if we can't pick up 30, 40 rats out of this little hole here. So, all right guys, I will, uh, I'll show you when I get there what it looks like. It's not looking good for the home team here. I checked it out further down and it was all slush, not ice. I'm guessing it's going to be the same here. It looks like it's the same. Yeah, it's just muck. Slush and muck. Won't be going out in this for a couple of weeks. Nice rat house right there. Uh, there's another one right there. You can see them all over the place. A couple of ducks. So we'll give it a shot here in a couple weeks. Although I don't see any real evidence of any rats moving, but it's hard to tell. I'd have to get up really close to that house, I think, to see anything good. So, all right. I guess we'll try it again here in a couple of weeks. Thanks for being here. All right, so, uh, yeah, that didn't pan out the way I was hoping it would. I was hoping to have a little bit of ice there, but unfortunately it has yet to form. There's a creek that kind of runs through there, so uh, I was expecting it not to be real formed at the creek, but I kind of figured back in the muck there that it would ice up pretty quick, but apparently that muck has been holding the heat. Um, that's fine. 
hand in your face there. Uh, <laughs> so I want to. I just want to make a clarification on why I'm concerned about there being any rats. Uh, I said it looked like it was, you know, rat paradise, and I think it is. But I did notice, like I just showed you in that one spot, somebody's been in there. Now I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. But I do know that fella that I met out there at the other lake. I know he traps kind of all over. He'll he'll jump from spot to spot. He'll go uh, trap for five, six days in one spot, and then you know he might catch 30, 40, 50 rats, and then he'll move on to another spot. Well, my fear, not really a fear, my curiosity is, has he already hit that spot? And did he do it back before it got cold? You know, he did it this fall or whatever. Um, oh, a little slippery. I, I don't know. If he did, then I probably shouldn't even bother wasting my time because all that's going to be left is uh, some smart ones and some kits. And uh, neither one of those are going to be... It's a lot of work and a lot of driving to try to trick some smart ones. So... Uh, we'll see. Uh, going past the lake I grew up on. All right, well, here we are down here at the Shiawassee. Uh, not quite what I expected to find. Kind of, but not quite this bad. Let me show you. So this river is up really high. Uh that tree came down i used to put traps at the base of that tree that's a shame to have that baby fall it's a monster um i've had a lot of wind though but i will say this it'll give me a bridge across that creek right there see that creek um i used to wade that creek but obviously now i don't need to wade it because i can somehow use that tree as a bridge across there so that'll be kind of nice uh over here a little nervous about walking through here because I really don't want to take a swim yet. Get all these horse tails in here. Uh, let's see here. So this is, um, it's about a foot deeper than it used to be. Um, the trouble is going to be getting across there because I see like, the, you see those logs. That's what I used to walk across, but obviously those are now gone. And from what I'm seeing over here, most of this area is swamped out. Uh, just a big pond now. So I'm going to frog around a little bit, check it out. Uh, I, I see up ahead there, you can't even get a kayak up there. I did look downstream. It looks like you can get a kayak going downstream. So I'm, I don't know, maybe I'll play around with that in the next few days. But right now I'm going to go check across the, side, the other side there and... Uh, I'll probably put a couple rat traps in that creek just because I know there's there's always rats moving in and out of that creek and then in and out of this creek. So, all right, here we go. Man, I'll tell you, best laid plans of mice and men. This is a pretty formidable pile of crap right here. So it looks like a kayak might be required. Hey, baby, look at this. I did cross over on this uh, tree here. I think I'd have been better off crossing over on that one, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, I didn't bring any traps down here because I wasn't sure what it'd be like, but I don't know. Now I'm starting to think, gosh, maybe I should drive around to the other spot and see if it's any better access. But I'm here now, right? I didn't bring any colony traps. That's what I usually use here. A colony trap combined with two cona bears. But, eh, who knows. Probably won't set any today, guys. I'm sorry to tell you that. It'll probably be on, uh, let's say, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Probably Wednesday when I get back out. Um, I'll be a little more prepared. Although I do have my waders. I guess once I put waders on, it'd be no big deal. I don't know. I'll keep frogging around and see what it looks like. Hello, everyone. It is January the 8th. 
2022. Uh, I think this may be the actual first day I put traps out this year. Last few times I've tried, it's either been not enough ice or it's just been too brutal cold. Today, you can tell by the sun in my eyes here, it's a beautiful, sunny, crisp 14 degrees here in lower Michigan. We've been making some ice, let me tell you. The other night it was two degrees, then three degrees. A couple of nights in the tens and teens. We got some ice now. Reports are we've got uh, three to six inches depending on whether there's current or not. And of course, you know I trap pretty much where there is current. So uh, we'll take it safe and slow, but in the meantime, we're gonna get some sets out today. I did forget to grab the colony traps, uh, but that's all right, we'll get some 110s in the water and uh, we'll go from there. If you have not already subscribed, I do appreciate it if you will, but more importantly, I appreciate comments. Stop in, say hello. Anytime I'm doing something wrong or uh, you don't like what I'm doing or think I could be doing it better, let me know. All right, we'll be out there in a couple minutes. We'll see you then. Okay, we made it, finally. Uh, had to stop and get a sled. Uh, I want to show you my new sled in just a second. All right, so I went and picked up a utility sled. Let me get a better lighting on it. 72 inches long, 24 wide. I can carry anything I want to carry. It'll be good for ice fishing, trapping. I can even drag a deer with this baby. So without further ado, it looks like we got some good ice. I just talked to some fellas. Over there, you see their trucks, they're out on the lake, they're ice fishing, they said there's five inches over there. We got a muskrat den there, and another there, and we're gonna walk around, we're gonna see what we can do. I'm glad you're here, here we go, we're gonna go have some fun. Here we go. All right, it looks like we had a little feed bed here. I am uh, I passed over the first couple because I didn't want to be uh, too close to the road, but uh, there was a real thin spot in the ice. Look at this, there's dog tracks. Now, we're so close to town and everything, that could just be a regular dog out running around, but that could also be a nice coyote, because there's a ton of coyote around here. Anyway, I'm gonna get a 110 slopped in there, and we're gonna see what it looks like. All right, well, it is a lot deeper there than I expected it to be. It's about uh, six feet deep, so I had to go cut a tree. Look at that scrawny little stick I had to put in there. Uh, yeah, well, hopefully they're not all that deep. I did cut about six or seven branches and stuff, or little saplings, whatever. Well, we'll see what happens. All right, we got another set in. You know what I forgot was bait. I didn't bring any carrots or potatoes or parsnips or apples or nothing. So, I've only been setting what's real obvious runs, so I actually don't have that many traps out yet. But... That will change on my next trip. So, the ice is about three inches thick. It's been pretty safe. I haven't worried about it too much. So, uh, yeah, I'm just about to head back to the truck. 